Peggy 3. Welcome to the second of three video blogs in which I take a look at what can be best described as some of the miscellaneous new features of Football Manager 2013, or, in other words, a handful of the hundreds we couldn't squeeze into the other videos. Let's start off today with some more transfers and contract type features. We have a few extra clauses for contracts which we've mentioned in an earlier video, but what we didn't mention is we've also increased the amount of locks available. Each clause should now be able to be locked so that you can tell the agent that it's your final offer on a clause, so no more being asked over and over again for a highest paid player clause. We've also spent a lot of time working on transfer values for players. There's been a recent trend, particularly in countries with squad size limits and homegrown player rules, for young homegrown players to be worth a lot more money to clubs. So these players are now more expensive in the game, whereas lesser players, ones who aren't going to make the heady heights of a top division, will now be more reasonably priced. Don't expect to be able to just pay the players' values though. The sale value and actual value are two very different figures, and the sale value depends on all kinds of parameters, including contract length, likelihood of signing a new deal, the club's financial position, and how valuable that player is to the team. You can also now declare an interest in signing a player on loan. Your assistant is more likely to come to you with a list of loan targets, and, most importantly on loans, you can now offer squad statuses when making a loan offer for a player. And now for some stats info. We have a new look available for playing stats, which have been condensed into a customisable side panel on the player profile, and the whole player stats screen has been revamped to include more information in a cleaner presentation. On the player form screen, more columns have been added for goalkeepers, including conceded goals and shots saved. The team reports are also improved, with you being able to view another team's potential ability compared to your own teams, and can also add and remove positions from the strength overview panel. That's enough for now. The next video blog will actually be the last, so make sure you don't miss it.